Welcome back to the Cowl Vault guys and in today's video we're going to do a review of this piece right here. This is the Sonar Cowl um, from Batman Forever um, worn by Val Kilmer. Um, the climax of the film, the Silver Sonar Suit. So let's get into it. <laughs> All right, so right off the bat, pun intended, um, <clears throat> this piece is made by Iconic Effects. Um, you can find Iconic Effects on Facebook. Uh, I believe he has an Instagram as well. Um, sometimes he puts some of his items on Etsy, but I, I believe he primarily likes to sell his stuff through um, Facebook messaging or email, stuff like that. Um, how I came to acquire this piece was the color of it came out a little bit darker than he wanted. So he put this up on a live stream on Facebook saying the first person to buy it gets it. Um, so I bought it. I thought the color was awesome. It's kind of like a gunmetal gray. Um, the Sonar Silver suit actually isn't a bright, vibrant metallic silver. It's more of a duller gray. Um, it just kind of comes out this weird blue hue on screen. Um, and a lot of people mistake it for a super metallic bright silver, which it is not. It is actually a duller gray um, with metallic pigments in it. Um, so this is the piece right here. It's made of 40 shore urethane rubber, so it's really, really flexible, as you can see. Um, <clears throat> this was hand painted, I believe, by Iconic Effects. So the piece was cast in black and then it was painted with an airbrush um, using urethane paints to get this metallic sheen and this um, sonar silver color that uh, is very recognizable um, in the film. The piece fits up to about a 24 inch head. Um, I don't think it would fit any any wider range than that. I believe a 24 inch head is where this is is, is at. Um, the thickness on this is I want to say I'm not I'm not exactly sure. Maybe three centimeters all the way around three centimeters. I used to say an inch, but then people said that an inch is like you know. And it's just like the tip of your finger and it, it's definitely not that thick so my my math was off on that it's about three centimeters i guess three three centimeters all the way around um the ears are filled in okay so they do move but they are completely filled in um <clears throat> there's uh some small blemishes on mine okay some very small ones. There's like this little bubble right here at the side of the ear, but I believe that's probably on every casting because it looks like a, uh, a mold imperfection. Um, the overall trimming of the face uh, was done relatively well. Um, there's not too many uh, there's not too many areas to really concern yourself with. Um, I mean, there's two tiny little holes in the chin. Um, but other than that, I don't really see any more um, imperfections. I mean, it's a really, really good casting. Um, I got it for a little bit of a reduced price. Um, I did have to wait for it for quite some time, though. Um, so I'm a little bummed out about that because in the live stream, um, Jamie, who runs Iconic Effects, said that this was a one and done, no wait time, first come, first serve, ships immediately. And I paid the exact same day, and I was waiting for this piece for about a month um, before he even shipped it. So that kind of sucked, but it's in the collection now. It was the final piece to the movie set, so I'm really happy that it's finally here. Um... And I do recommend Iconic Effects. I think that they make great products. Um, they're based in the States, so if you're, can if you're Canadian like me, you're going to be paying a little bit more, which kind of sucks. This piece was around $400 with the shipping, um, so it's a more expensive piece in my collection. Um, but I didn't mind paying that because it was the final piece that I needed for the movie set. 
So I'm happy that it's finally here in the cowl vault. Um, and other than that, Jamie was great with communication. Um, the quality of the piece is really great. The paint does not rub off. This is urethane paint. So it, it adhered perfectly to the cowl. Um, you, can, you can flex this, you can rub on this, and none of it's gonna come off. Um, he's a master at painting. If you ever need a cowl painted, Jamie at Iconic Effects is the person to go to. He's been doing this for quite some time. I believe he's one of the best at painting urethane. So if you have a standard black urethane cowl and you want it painted, hit up Jamie at Iconic Effects and maybe he'll paint your cowl for you. So you can ship your cowl to him and he can paint it for you. Or you can just purchase a cowl from him because he does offer cowls. He's got the Affleck, he's got the Clooney, um, you know, the, the Keaton stuff. Um, he's got a wide variety of stuff. He's got the Robin Redbird, all that stuff. Um, and he's just a master at painting. So that is the review, guys. That is the Sonar Cowl from Batman Forever. Uh, this cowl, this sculpt, uh, was repurposed for Batman and Robin. Um, the only differences was obviously the paint scheme was different. This was a gunmetal silver, and the Batman and Robin version was blue and metallic silver. Um, and then there was some slight sculptural differences. There was a sculpted line in the nose for the George Clooney version. And also there was a giant back um, armor piece that went from here all the way to the bottom of the neck um, that is not present on this one, but was present on the George Clooney version. But those are the really the only differences was the color and those two slight differences in the sculpt. But other than that, they were the exact same piece. Um, so yeah, guys, let me know what you think about this, uh, this review. Um, I'm going to leave you now with some up-close shots of the mask. I'm not going to put it on, though, because uh, trying to grow up my beard, and bearded Batman always looks weird and cringy on camera, so I'm not going to make you guys go through that. But I will take a few photos of this thing right now and show you guys what it looks like up close. You guys can see that metallic pigment stuff that I was talking about. And uh, other than that, what do you guys think about the new setup? This is where I'm planning to do my videos from now on. This is my new place. I got the Killing Joke uh, wall poster back there. It's made up of eight panels. All goes together to create that amazing uh, Killing Joke Joker. We got Keaton here. Here I am on the coffee table, and uh, I think this is a great setup, especially where the camera is. Um, but yeah, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. And until next time, peace out and be good people.